Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Searching for Sasquatch is where a witness can tell their story, unload those feelings, and get it off their shoulders. If you would like to report a sighting, email us at sfsasquatch at gmail.com or see the link in the description below. Just copy and paste the link in your email. Our report today, number 28982, Class Bravo, comes to us from the state of Georgia in Decatur County. This report was submitted by the witness on Tuesday, March 15, 2011. Checking in the BFRO database, we find there are no reports in this area and very few reports in the adjacent areas of Florida, Georgia, or Alabama. The incident reported today took place between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. There were clear skies and the temperature was in the upper 30s. The environment consisted of southern pine plantations with interspersed native hardwoods, heavy underbrush, swamps, ponds, and extensive areas of cultivation. There are few homes in this area and mostly located along well-traveled roads. The witness gives us the following report. He said, while vacationing in South Georgia, I decided to visit a remote forested area to listen to night sounds and make wildlife recordings. After the sunset, there were a lot of owls calling and several alligators growling from the nearby river. At one point, I heard three wood knocks come from the forest. As I continued to listen, I heard two distant whoops. The hour grew late and I decided to leave my audio recorder behind, running overnight to record anything else that might happen. When I retrieved the recorder in the morning, I found several distant howls on it. For the duration of my vacation, I returned to the area daily and continued to leave my recorder running overnight. There may be additional vocalizations captured within those recordings. I was with my brother and his wife, but they had never been out listening for these types of sounds before and they didn't seem to hear the distant knocks or whoops. However, speaking with local elders over the years, it's not uncommon to hear stories of panther screams in the night. A follow-up investigation report was done by BFRO investigator Matt Pruitt. He said, I spoke with the individual who submitted the report about the nature and timeline of the sounds that were recorded on that night. The submitter is very adept with field audio equipment and several members of the BFRO have spent time with this individual in the field. Of particular interest to me is a recording of two consecutive moaning howls. This sounds incredibly similar to the 1994 Ohio Howl recording. This sustained moaning howl is one of the most commonly reported sounds related to Sasquatches. I have heard this call myself several times in a few different places as far flung as Northeast Georgia and the Olympic Peninsula of Washington. I personally think that the moaning howls that the submitter recorded that night were being generated by a Sasquatch. This concludes our report today. Stay tuned for more episodes. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.